It's the final part of my three-part special on what makes a branded headshot better for your business. This is the week where the magic happens. We've come up with our new and original branding ideas. We've sense checked them to make sure that we can fully implement them into our business. Now we're gonna take all of the winning ideas to create a truly branded headshots shoot list. Let's transform Valerie and Marge from the dull financial service providers they used to be into the heart-centric, caring, money makeover mavens they really are inside. For the very best in branded headshots, ideas and inspirations, you should subscribe to my channel, click the bell, and you will be notified when a new video comes out every single Friday. With the work that we've done together, doodling and chatting about how to level up the emotion in your brand and make sure that you can pick the great ideas from the not so great ideas, we're gonna be bringing all of that together to make sure that you have a great shot list ready to debrief your next branded headshots photographer to make sure that your headshots are really successful for your business and your brand. For the last eight years, I've been a professional headshots photographer. Prior to that, I had a brief career in marketing and public relations, and I've proven the success of my marketing-infused branded headshots formula with many of my 300 some headshots clients. So it goes emotions, into plans, into branded headshots. Let's get straight into this by flipping the screen and going back to our scale of emotions with Monkey to see where all of the great ideas place ready to form our headshots shoot list. Now, can you remember we had that thing where Valerie and Marge really liked the color pink? Well, it turns out it is a deep emotional pink and not just a shallow pink after a little bit more investigation and consultancy with them. So at first they weren't very opened up to me to explain why they loved it so much, but now it turns out after our most recent catch up that the color pink is extremely emotional and this is why. It's actually to do with the Think Pink Breast Cancer Campaign. Valerie's sister is in remission and when she was first diagnosed and having treatment, Valerie and Marge naturally did everything they could to help her tackle the financial struggle she faced as a result of having to leave work and get into treatment. This is why they love pink so much. They've both regarded it all these years as like this secret emotional cold colour and they both knew that it had a really special place in their heart for them but they were afraid to associate their relationship with the colour with their financial service branding. They felt like it was a little bit like oversharing. We all know those people online who do a little bit too much oversharing and it just kind of gives us the ick factor. And can you remember that the ladies told us that they loved cake? They're both obsessed with the Great British Bake Off and they love to make cakes to give to their clients when they visit them at their homes for a financial consult. It turns out that after a bit of research, I've been able to find a smell connection with these two different emotions. Vanilla. Now there is a lot of scientific research in how the smell of vanilla can be found to have a really positive effect on nursing. Vanilla is often described as a very feminine fragrance. It actually works perfectly as well with the colour pink and it is a more unusual way to add a bit more of an extra sensory connection into the brand. See how these things rank on the scale of emotions. Monkey is deeply moved, let me assure you. So I've also been able to note down some loose copy ideas for them to give to their copywriter. Here goes, they're out there. <laughs> like vanilla pods steeped in sugar. We want you to feel that sugar rush you remember from your childhood days going to sleepovers in the summer holidays. That energetic burst of when the sugar hits your bloodstream is the exact same feeling you get when we have evaluated your financial practices and processes for you. The clarity you'll get is so intense, it gives you the warm pink and fuzzies. And then I also think that there's a play on words here 
around being your friends as well as your finance girls. There's something about sisterhood and that powerful nostalgia you have when you think about girlhood, but I need to get the copywriter to help me out with that. This episode of Moi TV was brought to you by Annals and Apertures. Sign up with the link in the show notes to make sure that you get regular inspiration client success stories and lots of free tips and advice on your headshot photography, branded photography and selfies. I'll see you over there. Let's get into the shot action list then. Headshots of Valerie and Marge baking together at first seems completely unrelated to what they do but it plays wonderfully on their brand. So I'm seeing shots of them eating cake in their clients' homes and I'm wanting to know when I go back and meet with them if they're going to be able to find three real life clients who have nice homes that we can use or maybe even taking part in a walk for life. I think that could be a really positive way to show how much Valerie and Marge are connected to a charity cause for breast cancer. What about, this one's a wild one, I came up with this in the shower the other day. What about a profit margin diagram, but I do it in a flat lay style and I make it out of sweet treats and use vanilla pods like bars on a graph. <laughs> and can you remember when we were looking at a way to get clever with promotions when we were doing the four Ps in part two? I think that there's scope here for the ladies to think about releasing a recipe book with all of their clients' nostalgic cake recipes in. So maybe we could think about what that looks like in terms of headshots to shoot the cover of it. Baking a money cake, what could that look like for Valerie and Marge? I think that could be an interesting way to take this shoot. And I've also been thinking about um, location scouting. So I think it's important that we try and hunt down a farmhouse kitchen. I know that they have connections with different cafe owners in the region. So I'm gonna call on Valerie and Marge to let me know which ones are the most aesthetically pleasing. But at the same time, I've scouted five different Airbnbs to have some nice homes to work with, with nice kitchens inside. And I'm planning on taking the ladies to visit three of them to make a final not call before we make a booking. We also know that Valerie and Marge have children and a lot of the financial planning expertise that they have is to do with future planning when you are a parent. Now I'm going to ask and see if they're cool with me featuring just parts of their children so I thought maybe children's hands in dough or we could have feet where they're all walking along together. It doesn't necessarily have to be an all out there as our children, I want to gauge how comfortable Valerie and Marge feel about um, bringing their children into their headshots to show that they are mothers. I've had a conversation with my stylist and we're going to be looking at sourcing more flowing lifestyle suited clothing. The ladies have already revealed that they're not really the kind of people who show up or trust up in sharp suits because it doesn't really suit their lifestyle. So we need to get a stylist in to give us the right recommendation. I don't want them to look like a hot mess. I don't want them to look like they've all been thrown together with their outfits, but I also want their outfits to show them in a practical sense, the multitasking women. I've also made a note here to seek out school sign-off for a mini shoot. Now it can be quite tricky to get into a school. I have contacts and I'm sure that they have contacts through their PTA connections. I want to get into the school when it's not occupied with children. So I think that's going to have a big impact on the way that we can get the release sorted out. But I think having elements of school in there will prompt parents who are also very familiar with the visual and feeling of being in school as an adult. I've had a conversation with Valerie and Marge's graphic designer and I filled her in on the way that we're altering the narrative behind the brand and she agreed with me that adding more pink colorways into the brand with a bit more of a rustic feeling font could be a fun way to show the real energy behind Valerie and Marge and the way that they do their business. At the same time I've spoken with the makeup artist who I've booked to do the shoot and she's looking at the pinks that complement both of the ladies skin tones ready for when it comes to shoot day. This is how I work with real life clients on transitioning dull and boring businesses into emotionally branded authentic business headshots. If you have just caught this part, I'd love it if you could go back and rewatch and work on part one and part two. Now, when all of these three parts are combined and work 
worked on in the right order, you're in the perfect position to debrief a headshots photographer to make sure that your headshots are branded headshots. Till next time, I'll see you soon. Mwah.